Hi, Sophie Andreo here. So I am not with you because I have an appointment at a hospital to get my husband home. So long story, not going to get into that now, but all is good. So I'm here to share with you some tips on e-commerce and share with you some success stories uh, of people that I've been able to work with recently. And you might be wondering, well, who the heck are you anyways, lady? So my name is Sophie Andreo and um, undergrad in computer studies from University of Windsor. My master's is in information systems engineering from Toronto. Uh, I worked at Bell Canada as a customer systems engineer, a number of other positions, and um, for uh, ended up being a sales director uh, for a few years. Absolutely loved it. Then I became a operate, um, chief operating officer of a startup on Bay Street and we went public and uh, it was a high tech startup, very exciting times. So um, I love working with entrepreneurs, I love working with large companies, so I'm able to assist in any way I can. Founded my own company, 123 Digital Power, back in 2002 and I've been helping companies ever since, whether it's being their social media and their digital marketing agency like Kortha TV and Stereo and Knock on Wood and a number of others for many years or whether I'm training and I do a lot of training pretty much 50% of my time is training so recently and why I was asked to do this with you guys is uh, recently I was um, brought in by the DBIA to help oh, over 70 businesses there's only a handful here I was gonna actually have them pop up as I was talking but I thought now just uh, I'll just do it this way but I had over 70 businesses that I've been working with on the last two months uh, during the COVID virus on helping them with their websites and how they might add e-commerce to it. So when Rose was doing this presentation, I thought, oh, I've got so many success stories I can share. Let me let me help if I can. So this is what I'm doing right now. Okay, so basically I have four steps that I have thought of. Every time I'm speaking with somebody, there are four steps um, to e-commerce could call it to e-business but I want to focus on e-commerce today and those four steps you'll see in the handout that Rose gave you the number one step is choosing your virtual payment system so what I have companies do when I speak with them I say what kind of payment system do you currently use if you are a retailer a restaurant a manufacturer what do you currently use as your payment system then we look to see if that payment system that they currently use offer an online payment checkout system because if they do then wouldn't you rather just have one place where you go and look at your inventory and you go and look for your sales versus a number of places so that's the first thing we do so what's so then based on what they're currently using we choose their virtual payment system and that might be square it might be PayPal it might just be e-transfer or it might be an e-store on your website and a lot of the merchants I've been working with didn't realize the tool they were already using on their at their store had um, an online option so that was easy then the next thing we talked about is what do you want to sell online and that's the next page you're going to see and what uh, Rose has shared with you what are you going to share sell online so list all the products or services. So what are you going to sell? And then you want to think about, okay, now I know what I want to sell online, what I can actually sell online, because there's some products that you might not be able to sell online as readily, but there are, there are others that you might. So let's do that. During the COVID virus, we were looking at what do people need while they're at home. So it was a very different conversation. So you're always looking at what do your clients need? What do you have that they might be searching for online? So what are your products? Then we talk about how are you going to get those products to your clients or how are they picking them up? So we talk about your fulfillment. So that's the next thing you want to really think about because whatever tool we end up finally using, which is what website are we going to use, we have different fulfillment um, questions, meaning are you going to ship? So now you're going to need to know how much everything weighs. Or are you just delivering yourself? Then you need to schedule delivery. Or if they're picking up curbside, then they have to schedule curbside pickup. So this is the kind of conversation you need to have with yourself or someone like myself or someone that's going to walk you through the process as to what payment systems, what services, how are you going to fulfill it? And then based on all of that knowledge, which website 
best works for your needs. Which website might work best? Now a lot of you already have a website and what we're doing is adding e-commerce. So I wanted to share with you some of the success stories. Success stories. She wanted to sell products on Facebook. She has a lot of followers on Facebook so she wanted to be able to have people check out and buy her services on Facebook. So we did that. We did that with something called Square. Square is a fabulous tool. A lot of us have these little things that we put on our phones to be able to accept credit card. You'll see it with a Musée. She uses it if you ever go to Venture North downstairs in a Musée. Sorry, the Edison. I apologize, Lindsay. And um, so sh that's Square. Well, Square allows you to then get a link for each of your items and you can put that link right on Facebook. So that's what she did. Well, she didn't stop there. Then what she did was she created a, 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 pa a WordPress website and then she took each of her square links that she created and all of those blue buttons that you see there, when you click on that, you're paying her right from her website, which is WordPress. Simply, she's added a square payment fulfillment system. Woohoo! And because she takes appointment, Square also allows you to accept appointments. And if your appointments are billable, you can add, please, before you can book this appointment, you have to pay. You see a lot of chiropractors doing that, and she does that now too. Very cool. So that was one of them. And here is our friend we were just talking about. We've changed the name to the Edison since. It now says Amuse still when I did this uh, uh, PowerPoint, but with um, our friend uh, Lindsay, she wanted to sell pounds of coffee on Facebook and what we did with her of course because she already was using Square we just created items of coffee and she put that link on Facebook and now she's also added that link on her, on her website as well. So on her current website you'll see a link and uh, that's there as well and it goes right to Square and people buy it on either way which is so cool and then there's one a friend of mine Tracy she owns that's a wrap so she reached out I think it was 10 a.m. we met by 3 p.m. she already had we had her launched which was awesome um, she already had a website her websites on Wibbly and what she was trying to do was sell some weekly specials so she was doing it all through e-transfers about each each one would take about four emails back and forth what's your address when do I get it to you so on Wibbly, she didn't have an online shop, but we added one. So you'll see now it says online, shop online. And what you'll see is we've got these weekly items and they're sold out. I'm so happy for her. So um, I don't know if she sells out every week, but we put on when we created the item, how many she can sell of these a day. And every time someone buys one, they have to give her her address. They, and it indicates that there's one been sold. She gets an email right away and she delivers it at a certain time each day. And it has saved a lot of back and forth and has increased the ability to do business. I'm so happy for her. Here's another one, our friends at Green Street. Now Green Street already had a Wix website and they thought they were gonna keep the Wix website and just increase it. But when they told me what they really wanted, what do you really, really want? What they really wanted was um, an intense inventory system because they have a lot of little items that go along with bikes. Who knew? There's a lot of widgets in each bike. So they sell each of those widgets. So they needed a intense um, inventory system at their shop as well as online. So what we decided to do was go with uh, Shopify. And with Shopify, what we did was we entered all of the inventory, thousands of items, and now they have it online. She has been selling to people all over Canada her essential oils and her yoga gear. So this was something that happened that she didn't expect was going to happen during COVID. So I was so thrilled for her that we happened to launch this right at the beginning of COVID. So we ended up going with Shopify, with, with um, Green Street. And um, so that's another suggestion and it's a fabulous tool. The last one I'll leave you with was the one that we did for our friends at um, uh, Statement House. It was lovely working with Statement House. So she was lucky enough to have um, someone that works for her, Matt, that actually was created the website. So when we met, they were just touching base because again, they were trying to figure out if they're going to go with Shopify or if they were going to go with Wibbly. So they didn't have the intense uh, inventory where 
um, our friends at Green Street did where they had you know m many of the same item at Green Street many of the other item these guys have one of a kind one of a kind items so we ended up going with Wibbly and what was nice about that is they already had Square so Square owns Wibbly so they were able to um, move forward with that and you'll see their beautiful site so again we went through the procurement the uh, types of products they're going to sell, in this case one of a kind. So what made more sense for them was Wibbly with a uh, shop of, with, sorry, Wibbly with a square um, procurement system. There you go. And at the last uh, seminar we're going to have, we're going to talk about how to get your shop out there. And one of the things we're going to talk about is putting your shop on Facebook, Another way we're going to do it is putting your shop on Google. Really, really important. And that's about it.